understand the risks you'll be taking, don't you? Shortly, you and your submarine will be miniaturized, and you will be inserted into one of the most frightening places on this planet, inside Kerry Packer's body. <laughs> your mission will be to perform a life-saving operation. I can see the hideous growth from here. No, that's his head. <laughs> what you are looking for is far, far smaller than the naked eye can see. You mean smaller than the Victorian economy? No, smaller than that. We are looking for his moral fiber. Surely, it's like the Liberal Party platform, it doesn't exist. <laughs> you have all been chosen because of your unique talents. You, Captain Boyd, because you are a great submarine captain. Why, thank you. You, Dr. Duvall, because you are a great microsurgeon. Much appreciated. So, what is she here for? For my great acting. <laughs> she lives in a world of her own. But beware. There may be a traitor amongst you. Have no fear, Herr Augustine. Keeping my eyes wide open, yeah? But Colonel, how are you going to shrink all this? Don't worry. I've enlisted the help of Australia's leading expert in shrinking things, Warwick Fairfax. <laughs> oh, look, Mumsy, a simply super little submarine. May I play with it? Leave it alone, you annoying little tit. <laughs> I've heard about this guy, he can shrink almost anything. Well, keep him away from me. What an enormous wasteland! Where exactly in the body are we, Captain? His chin! Whoa! Oh, God, an enormous ball of gas! Uh, get a fix on that, Dr. Michaels! Where's my Deutsche Grammophon? I'm too busy sabotaging the ship's hydraulic system, yeah? Oh, no! What do you see, Duval? I think it's the remains of his last meal. Lobster of Thermidor champagne and some Channel 9 executives. <laughs> There's his spleen. Look, his pancreas. Oh, my God, look, what sort of horrible organ is that? I think it's a Lowry. <laughs> If we're ever going to locate the moral fiber, it's going to be somewhere around here. What is that revolting smell? I did splash on some Brute 33 this morning. No, 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 no. It's not that. We happen to be right at the nerve center of Carrie Packer. Here is where all his creative decisions are made. In the lower bowel. Oh, I'm so terribly frightened. Maybe it will help if you took off your bra, eh? <laughs> Captain, there's someone out there, and I think he's alive. Don't be ridiculous. Who could survive out there in this terrible, noxious environment? Good night. <laughs> what in heaven's name are you doing up Kerry Packer's clacker? Uh, well, mate, uh, obviously, I was simply uh, doing Kerry a favor in terms of your media ownership. Obviously, I've uh, gone too far. <laughs> By the way, does anyone know uh, what this is? <gasps> it's the moral fiber! <laughs> what? Uh, what's that? I've never heard of that. Danke schön, mein lieber Fritzchen. I think that belongs to me, yeah? So, Dr. Michaels, you are a spy. You told me you were a gynecologist. <laughs> you told me you're a proctologist. <laughs> Well, then, exactly who are you, Dr. Michaels? I am Mr. Packer's tax advisor. I was employed to sabotage your mission. Do you realize how dangerous it would be if my client had to pay tax like other people, huh? Yes, with the widows and children. The Royal School's hospital. It could save Australia's balance of payments problem. That's right. It would be a complete disaster. I must destroy this last piece of moral fiber so that my client can get a trench filled for employees. Control newspaper editors and make 